Hai, ok kalau sebelum ni <laughs> Cukup lah nak bagi salam Assalamualaikum, welcome to my channel So kalau sebelum ni kita dah bincang pasal Emotion and mood, so, so job satisfaction Attitude, so, semua So today kita akan masuk chapter baru Which is Personality and values Dear ladies and gentlemen Personality and values plays an important role Because your personality defines who you are So in this chapter kita akan belajar pasal personality And at the end of this chapter kita akan tengok Apakah implication personality and values Towards the manager in organizational behavior Right so this is the learning objective Okay at the end of this chapter You guys should be able to accomplish all of this Okay so let's look at the next slide Okay, first of all, kita akan define dulu lah what is personality kan. Selalu sebut-sebut-sebut tapi kita tak tahu benda. Well, personality is actually a dynamic concept um, describing the growth and the development of a person whole psychological system. Okay, that's why sometimes kita akan cakap, oh dia tu pemalu, dia tu penyegan, dia tu pendiam, dia tu peramah, dia tu friendly dan sebagainya. So, this is what we call as personality, okay. The sum total of ways in which an individual reacts to and interact with others. Okay. But you have to remember eh, dia ada beza tau uh, attitude dengan personality. Sebab attitude ni adalah uh, reflection kita to that current situation ataupun current moment. But personality ni adalah siapakah kita or kita. Okay. Um, managers, managers need to know how to measure personality. Uh, so personality test is very important. That is why sometimes uh, some of the job application that you apply, they are going to add their personality test because they want to know um, what kind of person you are. You need orang yang selfish ke ataupun orang yang suka tolong orang ke or you orang yang suka ambil kesempatan dekat orang lain ke. That is why kita ada personality test. Okay, so personality determinants. Okay, macam mana kita nak tentukan benda tu kan? Sometimes it can heritage. Kita boleh, um, apa orang kata? Uh, ia datang dari keturunan okay. Kalau biasanya lah Kalau anak askar ni dia mungkin pendiam sikit Dan garang Sebab um, Eventually uh, when, we, when, we, when we say that the personality Comes from heredity so Actually dia sebenarnya datang daripada environment Because okay, kalau you membesar dalam keluarga Yang peramah, rajin uh, Kita akan Terdorong Ataupun we are going to be influenced by that Okay So That's why dia kata kat sini. Heredity refers to those factors that were determined at conception. Heredity approach argues that the ultimate explanations of an individual personality is the molecular structure of genes located in the chromosomes. But, okay, um, early research tried to identify the label and during personality characteristic. Shy, aggressive, submiss submissive, um, lazy, ambitious, loyal, and timid. So, These are personality traits, okay? Early efforts to identify the primary traits that govern behavior often resulted in long lists that were difficult to generalize from the provided little practical guidance to organizational decision makers. Okay, so, uh, kalau you baca, a few studies shows that the personality is actually heralded through um, the environment and the development of a... Uh, The growth of that children. So, kalau dia memesan keluarga yang baik, yang ramah dan sebagainya, dia akan influence untuk, terpengaruh untuk mengikut benda-benda yang macam tu. Tapi kalau dia membesar dalam keluarga yang uh, panas baran, garang ke apa, uh, ada tendensi untuk dia jadi panas baran, tapi ada juga tendensi orang yang, hmm, kita boleh kata, akan ada um, perubahan juga. Sebab dia tahu benda tu tak baik, so dia akan buat um, the way, another way around. Okay? So, um, Personality framework, uh, one of it is Meyer-Briggs type indicator. So, kita pakai extrovert versus introvert, sensing versus intuitive, uh, thinking versus feeling, and perceiving, perceiving versus judging. Okay, so INTJ, INTJ bermaksud um, intuitive, um, intuitive, intuitive, uh, thinking, Uh, ataupun judging ni, dia orang adalah visionaries. Visionaries means that they they always uh, visualize something. They always think think about uh, what will happen, what will happen. They are membayangkanlah visionaries. Okay. ESTJs are organizers. 
uh, ENTPs are conceptualizers. So, um, kita dah identify dia tu orang yang macam mana, extrovert ke introvert ke, ataupun dia orang yang sensing ataupun intuitif. So, daripada situ kita boleh tahu lah sama ada dia ni visionaries, organizers ataupun conceptualizers. Okay, um, key traits in a big five personality model. So, another model selain daripada Mary Brick tadi ialah five personality model. Kita ada extraversion, agreeableness, uh, conscientiousness, okay, the quality of wishing to do one's work duty well or thoroughly, uh, emotional stability and openness to experience. Okay, so kalau you tengok dekat sini, okay, huh. okay kalau you tengok dekat sini, uh, what is the most important and what is the less important um, traits to buy up at company? So, persistent, attention to detail, uh, efficiency, analytical skill, setting higher standard. Maksud kalau kita ada semua ni, ini adalah benda yang sangat penting lah. Apakah benda yang kurang penting? Haa, ni dia. Strong oral communication, teamwork, flexibility, enthusiasm and listening skill. Ni buy out company at buy out company. Okay. Right. So, kalau kita tengok sini, ini adalah the five big traits tadi tu. Ada lima kan. And then, you boleh baca kat sini, kenapa dia penting? Why is it important or why is it relevant? And macam mana dia boleh memberi kesan. So, um, this one you can read on your own and you can understand because I think it's very open. Uh, open pulik. Sebab baca openness ni tadi. <laughs> it's very easy to understand. For example, that like you have emotional stability. So, why is it relevant? Because you will less negative thinking. Maknanya kita akan kurang overthinking. And then kita ada few ataupun less uh, negative emotions. And we have uh, left hypervigilant. So, what will happen? Kita akan ada high job and life satisfaction. Lower stress level. So, extroversion. It akan improve your punya interpersonal skill. Very good at dominance and more emotionally expressive. So, apa pentingnya dia? Kenapa dia efek apa? So, it's higher performance, enhanced leadership and higher job and last satisfaction. So, you can read this on your own. Okay. Alright, and then dalam pekerjaan juga, uh, relating to personality juga, we have the dark triad. Okay, pernah dengar for the dark world? Well, we have the dark triad. The dark triad ni sebab apa triad? Sebab ada tiga benda, which is the first one. Machiavellism, Machiavellianism, ah, so sneaky, cunning and lacking a moral code. Okay, so ini adalah uh, tingkah laku yang tak elok lah. Maknanya dia, uh, dia being cunning ataupun dia have um, lack in moral code. So, they have emotional distance and they believe that um, uh, ends can justify means. So, maknanya dia bukan mementingkan dia orang yang sneaky lah sneaky ni macam licik kan lah. so this is uh, what we call as machiavellianism <laughs> and then kita ada narcissism which is selfishness so the tendency to be arrogant okay selfishness lah kan of course lah dia sombong lah sebab dia selfish dia pentingkan diri dia je alright the last one is very scary kita ada psychopathy which is mental illness or disorder which is the tendency of lack of concern for others and lack of guilt Kurang rasa bersalah eh, bila buat ni. So, ini adalah the dark triad. Okay. okay, so this is how the big five traits predict behavior at work. So, you can read this. Core self-evaluations, we have a bottom line conclusion. So, this individual has about their capabilities, competence and worth as a person because they evaluate their punya self. And then you have self-monitoring which measures an individual's ability to adjust his or her behavior to external situational factor. And then kita ada yang proactive personality pula who identify opportunity, opportunities, <laughs> opportunities. Ah, and then show initiative and then take action to make sure that um, they orang dapat benda tu. So, and then, yang ni penting lah sebab when we learn about the big five ni tadi, dia boleh identify dia punya contoh, kita ada core self-evaluation. This is for ourselves. So, we know that we are worth as a person. And then, kita ada self-monitoring bila kita boleh enhance kita punya capability ataupun ability kita towards the external punya situation. And then, kita ada pers proactive personality which kita identify opportunities and then kita run for the opportunities. Yeah, Right, kemudian, yes. Now we are entering values. Do you know what is value? Nilai kan? Semua benda ada nilai je. Tapi pernah dengar statement kan macam awak tak mampu beli sebab nilai harga diri saya terlalu tinggi. Ya gitu. So, this is what we call as values lah. Values is actually a basic convention 
about what is right, good and desirable. Okay, apa yang baik, apa yang bagus, uh, apa yang kita inginkan, nilai-nilai. Ini nilai murni gitu. So, value system ranks the value in terms of intensity. So, why is it important ataupun uh, macam mana kegunaan dia? Well, values lay the foundations of understanding for attitudes and motivation. So, bila kita ada satu nilai, nilai ni actually adalah satu pegangan lah, okay? When we think about something that is very good, kita berpegang kepada nilai-nilai baik dan kita tahu benda-benda yang perlu kita buat. So, kita akan berpegang kepada benda tu. So, benda tu akan mempengaruhi kita punya attitude dan kita punya motivation lah. Okay, uh, actually value ni can be uh, divided into two which is terminal value which is desirable at end states of existence and kita ada instrumental values which is prefer modes of behaviour or means on achieving a terminal values. Okay. Alright, this is um, the comparison of uh, generation differences. Okay, do you know which generation are you? I think you are alpha kot. Tak salah ni gitu. Alpha Tak tahu lah. So, saya, um, saya tergolong dalam Xers. Oh, Xers. Xers. Um, uh, saya mungkin first professor X kot. Uh, X-men mungkin. So, saya Xers lah. Okay. Um, so, okay, you guys are millennials. Okay, you guys are millennials. Okay, so, baik kita tengok kan. Eh? Domain work value. Okay, kalau saya work life balance, team oriented. Mm -hmm, I dislike rules. Rules are meant to be broken, guys. Okay, loyalty relationship. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, terus yes je kan. Okay, kemudian kalau kita tengok you guys ni. Baik kita tengok you guys ni apa eh. Confident. Mm -hmm, financial success. Self-reliant but team oriented. No wonder lah. Okay, loyalty to both self and relationship. Oh, good job. Okay, next. So, uh, this is the Holland typology of personality and congruent occupations. So, basically, kalau you boleh tengok kat sini, kalau you ni jenis yang realistic, so, your punya personality adalah shy, genuine, persistent, stable, confirming and practical. So, kerja-kerja yang sesuai untuk you adalah, wow, mechanic, drill press operator, assembly line worker and farmer. Wait, yo. Kalau macam contoh, you rasa you ni sociable, friendly, cooperative and understanding. You tergodong di dalam golongan social. Okay, so you akan bekerja sebagai social worker, teacher, counsellor, clinical psychologist. Okay, so you boleh check lah ni nanti kan. You tahu diri you macam mana? So you can see this. Eh? That's why saya kata personality test is very important because uh, first you can de define or determine your own uh, personality and what is the um, suitable job for you to go. Kenapa kita perlu tahu supaya dia takkan menatangkan burn uh, burn out ataupun job burn out so that kita tahu lah okay oh memang personality kita macam ni so this is the word that is um, sesuai untuk kita. Contoh kita ni jenis yang social but then kita pergi bekerja pada yang benda yang realistik tapi kita jadi mechanic. Sometimes kita akan rasa macam eh this is not the this is not the right thing to do for me. Mungkin. Tapi ada orang yang dia boleh adapt so You know yourself better, so that is why personality test is very important, okay? So, this is um, the relationship among occupational personality types. So, you will think about it lah. Okay. Then, person organizational fit. Oh, person organization fit. People high on extraversion fit well with aggressive and team-oriented cultures. People have high on agreeable, uh, <laughs> agreeableness match up better with supportive organizational climate and then high with openness of experience fit better in organizations okay so ini adalah macam mana kita nak tahu kita ni adalah orang yang fit untuk that organization lah okay kalau kita ada extra extra version kita ni peramah that's good for team oriented kalau kita ada agreeableness tu kita bagus sebab kita boleh fokus um, on supporting the organization and kalau kita ada openness to experience so kita ada banyak uh, peluang untuk terlibat dengan uh, innovation, okay? Alright, so next is, wow, identify half state path values, dimension of national culture. Do you know uh, when we talk about value dimension ni, kita akan guna half state. So, uh, half state ni ada lima, power distance, individualism versus collectivism, masculinity versus femininity, uncertainty, avoidance and long term versus short term orientation. So basically, kelima-lima value ni berbeza-beza. Contohnya, power distance. Uh, power distance ni adalah perbezaan um, kuasa. So, di 
di semua negeri ataupun di semua negara kita ada perbezaan power distance sebab tu kita boleh guna Hofstede file value ni sebab kita nak compare contohnya budaya kita sini Malaysia dengan budaya kita di Jepun sangatlah berbeza so kita boleh tengok power distance kita di Malaysia dengan power distance di Jepun sangatlah berbeza um, people here Mungkin sangat tak dekat pada ibu bapa Power distance Maknanya ibu bapa mempunyai kuasa yang sangat tinggi kepada anak mereka Mungkin tidak di Jepun So you boleh tengok the comparison tu okay? So you can just google up this And you can look at the uh, the apa nama explanation Even if you go for YouTube You akan boleh nampak macam mana Apa yang dikatakan sebagai power distance Apa yang dikatakan sebagai individualism versus collectivism dan seterusnya Okay So yeah We're about to reach an end for this chapter Uh, implications for manager. As a manager, you're more likely to appreciate, evaluate positively and allocate rewards to employees who are fit in. And yes, screening. Job screening is very, very, very important because kita tak nak lah nanti bila you jadi manager, you tersalah pilih. But sometimes, yelah, semua orang boleh menipu kan. So, penting untuk kita nilai benda tu dari segi uh, tulisan, personality test dan juga kita kena buat macam saya rasa it is time to kalau kita nak buat macam practical test kan, nak tengok dia macam mana. So, This is very good. I have an experience before this. Before saya bekerja sebagai lecturer, I work at um, OCBC Bank okay, as an executive there. So during the interview session, so uh, actually saya dah buat role play lah. Role play ni uh, when I were, I was tested, I were tested, um, I was tested by my supervisor. Uh, I I I am I am as the executive and he act as the customer as a root customer actually because he wants to see whether saya ni orangnya penyabar ke tidak okay memang betul itu adalah sekadar ujian dan kadang-kadang orang boleh menipu tapi kalau macam memang panas barat kadang-kadang bila dia kena provoke dia tak boleh tahan so um alhamdulillah I got selected but one of my friends not to get selected because uh she cannot handle dia punya anger so saya rasa if you are becoming a manager and you want to look for employee so it is better for you to do a role play it's very 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 good okay so I hope to see you guys on the next chapter Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh